If you've ever hung string lights before, like these right here, you know it's kind of an interesting task. You want them to look good, and you want them to not droop and be nice and tight, right? And you also wanna make sure that when you do install them, they're as maintenance free as possible for as long as possible for years to come. We've hung string lights under porches, across decks, under patios over the years, and I found the best method is a cable kit right off of Amazon. So let me show you how to do this. String up this string right here, we'll get to it. What you'll need to get this job done. String lights, these are a 42 foot strand, about 40 foot lit string lights from Costco. These are plastic bulbs, very important. Use these in the past, they work really well. They last a long, long time. LED, of course. And I'll put a link down below for everything on this video so you can kind of build out your own set of string lights. But these are Costco. Powering up your string lights, of course, is very important. You wanna make sure that it's clean and also very easy to use to turn them on and off and of course dim them and things like that. So I grab an extension cord, outdoor rated like this, to run on the side of the house down from where the string light ends down to an external power outlet. And I grab one of these right here. This is a smart plug by Casa. It used to be TP-Link, so if you have any of the old TP-Link old smart plugs for the inside of the house or smart bulbs. It all works on the new CASA app. This is a single smart plug. Very, very handy because you can control your string lights from your phone or from your smart device and just say, hey, you know, hey Google, turn lights on. Pretty neat, definitely recommend. I'll put links again to all this stuff below. You're gonna want this kit right here. Mine happens to be from Ugarden. They're all pretty generic random names, right? So this one right here is a 170 foot length, which I don't really need that for the interior of the patio that we're installing this on. Now it does come with a handful of very useful things to make this a easy install. It's really not that bad. So it comes with this right here is actually 170 feet of vinyl coated stainless steel cable. Help kind of with that weather resistance there five turnbuckles right here. These are key because you fully extend them and then twist to tighten it. And that is how you get your cable nice and tight and then making your string lights very tight and clean looking. Five snap hooks, a bunch of these hump screws right here, which are what the hooks are going to hook onto on each strand of that tight cable. Rope clamps, which are designed to, when you cut the cable, to bend it back through these clamps, clamp them down and that kind of keeps the ends nice and neat and very tight. So you're essentially making your own sets of cable strands and it comes with a wrench to tighten down. Screws with the kind of crappy basic drywall anchors. So you might want to upgrade those. I'll put the nicer ones down below that I use that screw in rather than just hammering because these fall out pretty easily. But we're going to run this along the trim and siding of the house. So you really probably won't need the plastic anchors. You probably will just need the screws. Bunch of cable ties and I'll show you how these are used in the install. But this is a very unique design and I really like how easy it is because if your string lights ever die, if you need to replace them, you don't have to mess with the cable. All you have to do is clip all these ties pull that old string light set down, put a new one up on the old cable. Lastly, a couple of freebie tools here. You have a Phillips screwdriver, which you'll need for those screws to get them into the siding or whatever you're screwing these lights into. And then a little kind of tape measure, which is nice to have. But of course you can use your own tools you need for the job. A drill with a 5 64th drill bit on there, just small enough to pre-drill for those screws. You can use the little screwdriver that comes with the kit or grab your Phillips that goes with your drill and run that. Just be careful, you don't wanna strip out these cheap screws, right? I'd grab my own tape measure, double check where your distances are. You probably won't really need this, especially if you wanna use the little one that comes with it because you're just going to kinda of screw in each side and then run the cable between the two points, but could be good to have to help measure where you wanna put this string light. And lastly, the cable that comes with it is pretty thin, so it's really not too bad to cut. So just get some wire cutters. Now I'm gonna start on this side here Take down this old blink camera here, still works. The X-T2, did a full review and install on this a few years ago. Awesome little cameras, especially for like a back patio or something. This part right here is very hard to drill in. There's definitely some harder material in the corner of the house. I don't know what's behind here, but something that is not wood. And over here is much easier to drill in. So what you want to do, take your little hump screw right here, take one of the screws, see where you want to start. I want to start as close to the wall as possible. So I'm actually going to go right about there, make a mark with the screw just to have a dot there. And also use a pencil. There you go. Take your drill. There you 
go. Take a little hump screw, take one of your screws, and just kind of get it started there a little bit. There you go. Take a drill with the bit. And away you go. Beautiful. You can use a level if you'd like as well. Doesn't have to be perfect though. So I'm just gonna line it up, put another drill mark in there, pop a screw in. There you have it. Now to start this off, snap hook, rope clamp, little wrench, and your cable. Take a strand, run through the looped end right there. And you can see how you're gonna make this kind of closed off. Put your little tool inside here to loosen up the actual nut there. Kind of see how this is working here. Tolerances may vary. <laughs> you may actually have to use a pair of pliers to widen up if you can't fit this in here. I'm gonna loosen it up almost all the way because you're gonna run that cable through there and back on the other side and clamp it down. So you don't actually have to take this whole thing apart. You can, and then you can kind of leave it in this little eye hole here, but really can run this through the little figure eight design there, out the other side, right here. So you have enough, I guess, thickness there to get through like that. And then you can go and push a little more. You can go push it back through the other side doesn't get caught up, there you go. And out the other side. Like so. See that right there? And now simply tighten up, then take your wrench, tighten those down. Pretty easy design, honestly. Really tighten it down. Can't go anywhere. I just saw that this is actually not all the way in. Snap it back in place, there you go. Make sure both sides are completely encased in there. Should look something like that. Now, give yourself some slack. Hook it in, you can kind of see where we're going here. Now we're on the other end of that first line right here. I'm gonna take another one of these hump screws and we're tucking in pretty close, but not close enough where I can't get anything hooked onto it. Probably right about here. Line it up, drill, screw it in, then you're gonna run that line. I'll show you the next steps. All in there, nice and tight. Now you're gonna to wanna to take your turnbuckle. They come like this. And you're going to want to loosen them up all the way because you're going to need that to take up some of the slop in the line, some of the slack. Once your turnbuckle looks like this, you want to loosen up another one of your rope clamps because you're going to take or cut and take a strand of this as tight as you can make it to loop around there and run it through here, make it as tight as you can and then you're gonna to want to twist this turnbuckle to lock it in. So I'll show you that here. Take your wire cutters. You wanna see how far this one has to go. Cause it's gonna loop through here. So honestly, I cut it like right here. Easy as that. Now I can take this down and tighten it up, get it in the clamps, tighten it up again, and start twisting. So you can actually use a pair of pliers here and pull it tight this way through here before tightening down the clamp. You're gonna want to start twisting this turnbuckle because when you twist it, it tightens both sides of this cable and you want it to be as tight as possible which is a good benefit of a turnbuckle like this. 
once this turnbuckle is as tight as you can get it, like this. Then you can run another line if you need to, just like before, right here. Repeat the first steps I showed you and go around like the three sides that I have. But let me show you how to attach the string lights. I ran up my extension cord for the power source up at the top here. I just kind of tucked it in on the siding down this way. So we'll work on that, clean it up a little bit. But I want to have this up here because I'm going to take the end of my string lights where the plug is, right? Because you're going to plug it into here, but don't plug it in yet. Because you're going to take two zip ties, find a spot right here, because now that the cable is nice and tight, and you're going to attach one zip tie on each side. You don't want to use this loop like this. The reason being is because this loop will dry rot first. This is all just rubber, right? So you actually want to zip tie each side of the loop and it's going to go like so. Let's see if I can do it. First one is always going to be the hardest because you're holding up the weight. So it's going to be like that. Then you're going to trim off the end, put another zip tie right there. And we'll keep moving around. So it's going to kind of look like this. I'm going to clean this up, tighten it up, dangle it over here. You can also take some extra zip ties and like loop this up here, keep some weight off that plug so it doesn't really just unplug itself and that should hold up just fine. But we can trim off these right here, like so. And it's a nice clean look, and then you're just going to run it nice and tight to the next one. Now when you reach a corner like this, you have this with the two zip ties, right? Come around here to this corner right there, and I zip tied it to one of the hooks right there. And then you kind of pull tight and try to tighten these as much as you can. You can actually give them a yank and tighten them that way. Try to get them as tight as you can. I'll probably yank this all, starting from the beginning all the way around. And then just keep jumping over to this and it looks nice, nice right angle. Now we've reached the end of the line. Got a couple, three bulbs left on the end here. You have a couple options. So I went and tied off this last bulb tied off this to the turnbuckle here. You're gonna to wanna to tie this off to this end here. Just kinda of add a couple of zip ties to really keep this nice and tight as it is. First option, you can coil this up nice and tight. Just take the bulbs out, tuck it in the corner. All right, not too bad. A Little messy, but it would work. You could turn and run it and add more light along this side. Not bad, it's not gonna look as nice or you can in fact actually cut these wires here. So you can actually cut it, strip it, get some wire nuts. And honestly, I think that's what I'm gonna do since this is a permanent install, it's gonna be something we have on here and the only time to actually take these down is to throw them away and try a new strand. So I'm gonna go and cut this, see what this looks like inside, get some wire nuts and some electrical tape and get this cleaned up. All right, what do we got? All right, so we got three here to put on. Probably little orange ones will be good. That one. Right. And I'm gonna individually tape these and then tape them all together. up really nice. As tight as I can get it. You can probably add some more zip ties if you want. If you guys have any questions about this install, I'll be happy to answer them as usual. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that thumbs up. Definitely helps out the channel with this crazy algorithm going on these days. 
ran the wire down the siding here so you can barely see it. Pops out here, you probably tuck it under the siding there a little bit more and right into that smart plug right there. Not bad, doesn't take too long at all.